Hey everyone, just wanted to share how I solved the small problem today. It's pretty common in documentation work that you have multiple code examples uh, and you want people to be able to toggle between code. Docusaurus lets you actually do that. It, it gives you a nice tab component where you can display different pieces of code. But the problem is it doesn't sync across different code samples. That's not a nice user experience and it doesn't remember. So when I refresh, it just goes back to the original default one. And so we were basically trying to trying to think about whether we needed to essentially swizzle, which is the docu, docusaurus terminology for this, uh, swizzle this tabs component and then fork it and then add in a provider with context where we can actually read this and sync it to local storage. And I was basically just about to do that when I actually noticed that this code actually existed in the docusaurus theme that we're already using, where it's setting local storage and reading from it. Um, and it's doing everything that we would have had to code anyway. And so I was like, all right, this doesn't seem to be there in the tabs. And so you search the code base and you find that it's provided here. And then you look for the whoever consumes uh, this user preferences and you find that the tabs component actually reads from something called group ID. So, so that's where it actually does the syncing. So uh, for example, if you change the selected value, if group ID is set, then it's going to set the tab group choices, uh, and then that's all the, the, the stuff that was uh, specified here, which is going to sync it to local storage and sync it to the rest of the app. So essentially, all I needed to do, instead of coding, was go here and then set the group ID to whatever you know group I wanted. Uh, here, I just gave it a number. Uh, so now if I save it, uh, it's just going to sync up across the app. Um, so that's really nice. And if I leave it on the non-default one and I re reload, it's going to stay on that de non-default one. Um, and that's exactly it. Uh, I think the lesson here is to... The other thing to point out is that this is still beta software and this feature was not documented. So uh, not DocuSource's fault. But I think uh, digging through the source code of whatever you're using can be a skill that you learn so you can figure out this stuff for yourself. Bye.